What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Let's look at another edge rusher today, Leatu Latu. We looked at Chop Robinson in the last film study. This guy's a little different, okay? Chop Robinson is a 100% athlete going at it a million miles an hour, which is very raw, and he just uses his athletic ability to get to the quarterback. Leatu Latu has a plan and just continuously counters, and it's a fun thing to watch and really break down. So let's jump into it. Number 15 on the outside here. Like I was showing you Robinson. He just gets to the edge and he just flies, right? Look at all the counters, all the hand movement, all the hand battling, arm battling, length, like everything that's going involved in this one play, okay? So we're going to break this down. As he's going immediately off the snap, he's not flying, right? It's not quick twitch like you saw with Chop Robinson, but he's diagnosing what's happening in front of him. So he's going to get his arms out in place, right? So this guy can't get his hands on him. So if you watch this outside arm, he's going to chop that thing down so that this guy does not have any hand control, right? So there's no arms on him he's pushing him away realizing okay i can push this guy's hands even higher to get him off of me so i can leverage into him right still going the pocket's still there the quarterback still has the ball the eye the awareness of where the guy's at then he's realizing okay let me get inside you didn't see a lot of inside moves from chop robinson latu has that so he goes inside again look where the arm is over the top of his shoulder watch how he counters this pulls that arm down swims the other one over right Gets his body in position. We always talk about the upper half working with the lower half. He just has that. He has everything working to his advantage. And look at this. The finish to push those arms down and away from him. Lower center of gravity to get upfield after the quarterback. Forces this guy into a sack right there. So much went involved in this one play. As opposed to Chop's just elite athleticism. This is just understanding how to get after the quarterback. How to use my hands. How to use my leverage. How to use my body to get after a quarterback. It's not just... Speed, right? Not just quickness. So again, we're outside here again. This guy's going to fake it. He's going to go after him and then go after So it's like a, a quick shuttle pass or a quick run. He doesn't lose balance. So if you're thinking this guy's coming after you, you're going to lean too much on him. Some guys would fall. But he's understanding, holy crap, why did he not block me? Diagnosing what's going on. Gets in the path of the throw. Still, the guy gets it. Doesn't stop. It's the motor to get after it. And then we know this from Levante David. Look at this punch out right here. Pop it out. Fumble, the defense recovers the ball. I think he he just did everything on that. Like diagnosing, understanding, balance, everything was on that one. Here we go again, the fluidity of him getting after it. He's on the outside over here. Here we go, I'll let the breakdown go. So length, and then meeting at the quarterback with the other edge rusher in here. So it's a lot of it's just hand usage. You didn't see it with Chop. This, he has it so much more. He doesn't have extremely long arms. I think it was just at 33 inches, but he just a 6'5", 260 ran maybe a 464 40 it's not necessarily elite athleticism it's just knowing how to use your tools using longer arms to get after a said quarterback and yeah good good completion for them but still it's the the ability for him to get after it consistently it's not just a one trick pony guy okay now look where they line him up inside against guards so is he big enough to do that he has the size absolutely but the quickness he has hand usage here if this guy's hands are that low he's gonna swat over that thing get over the top of him, and then I love how he, he does this little hop to get over. The guy pushes him, then once he plants here, he's going to win by pushing those hands down, getting his foot through so that he can leverage, pulling through the, the side of the shoulder pad of the guard, and then driving through his legs. So arms working with the legs yet again. Probably should have gotten a block in the back there. Ref doesn't see it. Still continuously gets after it on the play. Look at this. The guy does not stop. Motor beyond motor. And the only reason why he's even being considered around the Bucks pick at 26 is because of his injury history. He had to, I guess, mentally retire, or not mentally retire, physically retire um, from the Washington Huskies, I believe. And he ended up going to UCLA and becoming this amazing pass rushing uh, prospect that could potentially be there at 26 where the Bucks are pick picking mentally retire. I can't believe I said that. But let's keep going on. Uh, again, he's inside against the guard. He's over here using longer arms, quickness, on diagnosing where is the ball, what do I have to do to get after it, still inside move, swim over, getting those longer arms up to try and knock down a pass. I just love his ability to read what's going on in front of him as he's executing pass rush moves. It's not just, I'm just going to go all out, not with no plan in place, right? So here we go again, outside. What are we going to do against this left tackle here? Give him a fake inside, right? We're trying to get this guy to bite inside so I can win the outside. The bite doesn't, he doesn't fall for the bite, right? So he jumps. This guy could have leveled him, pushed him off the play. 
But again, like I say, with those hands, look at him. He's not allowing him to get that push off of him, pushing those hands away, realizing I may have not have won with my legs and body, but I can still win or slow down the tackle from blocking me by using my hands. This guy has so much of everything. He just doesn't have elite athleticism. That's the only knock you can kind of put on him. And then the injury history, yes, that's going to probably sh like fade away some other guys from other, some other teams from taking him because of that. You don't want to have a guy that's only going to be there for three or four years. Don't make it to their second contract because of injury history, right? So that usually drops guys. So here he is against a tight end. Tight end and a running back. Okay, let's get two guys to chip on him, right? This is where we talk about moving upper half with the lower half. The tight end is just literally going to use his arms to try and block Latu. Look how he's battling. Arms are never touching him. He's pushing his hands off of him, swatting him away. Am I going to get inside outlet? No? Okay, fine. This guy's thinking I'm going inside. His body went that way. Now I know I can win the outside. The guy never moved his lower half, so he won it. Let me get in after it between the running back and the tight end. Get after the quarterback. Force a pass. This was an amazing pass. I couldn't believe that. Uh, the guy just didn't come down with the ball. Uh, but the placement on it, great A from that quarterback. Uh, we keep going down the line. Here we go. The quarterback's going to try and run it to the outside. Tight ends, again, trying going to try and get in the way. Not enough. I love the shrug here, pulling that arm up. Uh, usually, like I mentioned with Chop Robinson, he doesn't really use his arms much. He doesn't lift his this guy up to get more leverage, right? So once he lifted his arm up, Latu got lower so that he can increase that space in between the tight end and him. Then he gets engaged into the running, uh, the quarterback running around. Gets in the way of the pass. Still almost gets a completion, but because of Latu getting in the way, he has an incomplete pass. There we go. Uh, there was just a lot to like with Latu's game. This is just one film, one game showing so much. And there's so much more in, it, in his other games. If he's there at 26, I would not be upset if the Bucks took him. But again, it's injury history. How does Jason Light look at that? Does he want that for... A potential moving forward, you don't know, right? But And that's the only reason I think he would even be available. If he is, I would not be upset at all. Like, put it, pairing him with Canty and Vita Vea in the middle, that'd be insane. But guys, let us know down below what you think about Latu Latu. And with that said, until the next one.